Last night, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. And was it cozy? Yeah. Very cozy. Hey. Yeah. I'm glad you liked it. Mm. Mm. So we picked up our caravan in mid May 2021. And the handover was fantastic. We spent half the day there and the um, guy, Craig, even took Vinny out for a drive with the caravan hooked up to give him a feel of what such a heavy load would feel like when towing and also um, gave him some tips on how to reverse with the caravan, which I thought was fantastic. We were very appreciative of that and that went great. We were so excited. We finally had our home, our home on wheels. When we were finally in the caravan, a couple of things started to happen. We sold our fridge and so we needed to use the caravan's fridge. We packed everything into the fridge and the button got stuck. But the dealers were fantastic. They let us take um, the little power board of, from a fridge in one of their stock vans and replace ours. And then they would order a new one in for them because the waiting for that part could have taken two to three weeks and we couldn't wait that long for the part. So we were grateful that they were able to do that for us. The other things that happened were minor things like the tap outside broke off the grey water tank was leaking and we thought that the outside annex lights were getting water in them but it turns out that it's really cold and it's just condensation so that was thankfully not something that we had to worry about. Our first stay at the caravan away from the house was at the Austinville showgrounds. We chose the spot because it was down the road from the place that we had just moved out of and Luna still had her last week of daycare left. We also didn't want to travel too far on our first trip because we are newbies with towing and parking the caravan. <laughs> you helping me with the laundry, Lena? Can you go to the laundromat? Yeah? The showgrounds were quite lovely. The managers there are fantastic, so friendly, and the facilities are pretty good. And it's very well maintained. They keep the grass nice and short and everything is what you'd expect from a really good showground, I suppose. I don't know, because that was our first one. The showgrounds are also down the road from an off-leash dog area which I'm so grateful for because Honey was having 
a lot of trouble with doing her business. She refused to do her business while she's on lead. She would only do it when she was off lead. So thankfully I could take her there and um, help her out. Are you looking for a spot, honey? I hope so. <laughs> that actually leads me into how the dogs have adapted. Taylor's always been great with changes and traveling. She seems to just take things as they come. And as long as she's with us, she's happy as. Our adjustment with Taylor is going to be that she does do a lot of protective barking and she is not friendly with other dogs. With kids and people, she's fantastic. but she is not accepting of any other dog except for honey. <laughs> Taylor can also be very intimidating when first meeting someone because she will bark and bark until she gets to smell them and then she's cool. Taylor's the biggest sook and she will tell you about it. <laughs> It's been six weeks into traveling with the caravan now and Honey still seems to be adjusting. She seems very weary a lot of the time and has her tail tucked a lot. She just seems very unsure. Honey and Taylor are also little diggers which drives us completely crazy. So we have to keep a very close eye on them. What were you just doing? Hmm? Honey, what were you doing? You as well, hey. Not, hey, no. Look, there's a hole. There's holes. Hmm? More holes. This all used to be covered in grass. How long was I gone for, Taylor? Honey. Hmm? Two minutes. Hmm. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is that they eat the dirt that they dig up and then they seem uncomfortable and they stink and they do a million poos a day. <laughs> Our timing season wise for moving into the van is not the best because it's cold and very wet. When we are hooked up to power, the air conditioning works fantastic, it heats up the van no problem. And when we are not hooked up to power, it is freezing, freezing cold. It's like a fridge in the caravan. So we are going to get a diesel heater, for sure. So the cold leads me into the next place we went to visit, which was Silver Lagoon. Silver Lagoon is a private property that friends of us found on Hip Camp, and we were so excited to join them. When we finally got to the camp, we were greeted by the friendliest and most relaxed couple ever, Peter and Elaine. So they are the property owners. told us about the property and some rules and then we went to go pick a spot and oh my soul 
It was beautiful. When we parked there, we were greeted by a bunch of cows and they were so curious about the dogs. They would not stop staring at the dogs. But the dogs had not been fussed about the cows at all. They barely even gave them a look. Honey, Taylor, those big cows. Look at them stare at you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Luna, they're coming to say hello. Our friends then arrived and got the fire started, which, by the way, we parked way too close to our caravan and pretty much got smoked out. So we had to keep the doors and the windows closed all the time while the fire was going, which was the whole weekend, and we learned a valuable lesson. Do not park too close to where you're going to have an open fire. When the kids had a nap, us girls decided to go and get the kayaks, which they had there for free. And they even helped us get in the water without having to tip over or anything. And we had the most beautiful hour and 15 minutes just kayaking on the lagoon. Luna practically stole Daylan's little car. She could not get enough of this little thing. <laughs> Where are you going, Luna? It was actually the first time we finally felt relaxed and that it hit home that we are actually living in a caravan. It's easy and simple and just so relaxing. And if it wasn't for running out of water and needing to catch up on our washing, we would have probably stayed there for two weeks. Easy. Our next trip was to the beach. We went to Wuyong Holiday Park, which was right across from the beach. When we arrived at the Holiday Park, the uh, property manager was kind enough to actually come out and walk us to where we fill up with the water and um, where our campsite was and they were super super friendly the dogs had the best time luna had the best time if there's water and sand those are luna's top two favorite things she can just live in it and that's practically what we did if it was warm enough or if um, it wasn't raining we were out on the beach
last few days at Wuyong Beach, which is a bit north of Byron Bay, and it's been beautiful. The weather has been all sorts of different kinds. This morning was pouring down with rain, and now um, the sun is out and it's warm and beautiful. So thankfully, we still get a day at the beach because tomorrow is our last day. Uh, <laughs> Trying to keep the dogs close isn't as easy as what we would have thought. Um, so it has a dog beach here um, and we kind of just walk out of the way where it's quiet so the dogs can get some off lead time because it's very rare that they really get to run around and do what they want. But so far our stay has been great. We, um, we weren't too keen on the park when we first arrived. Uh, lots of permanents at the park, but all very friendly and it's a very small park So there's not much there to do uh, So the only thing that's here for us to really do is be at the beach uh, The park itself is just Permanents and some camping spots, but they also quite tightly squeezed together and it's the beginning of the school holidays now So people are cramming in there um, the, it's going to be pouring down for the next few days so we're going to leave a day early so that we can pack everything up and unpack properly in our next spot but apart from that we've enjoyed the beach the dogs have really enjoyed the beach I've got some beautiful videos of them just playing and going crazy Luna's always loved the sand and we managed to get a swim in yesterday as well which was really fun so that's it for Wuyong Beach. Uh, we will probably come back to the beach, but I don't know if we'll come back to the park. We've just left Wuyong Beach Holiday Park and it is a very rainy day. So thankfully last night we had the sense to put the annex away before um, too much rain come in. It was just a light drizzle, so it was easy enough to do that and we're very glad that we did. Um, and the rest of the setup we had to do in the rain. And there was also so many puddles uh, everywhere and I'm glad we're not staying for longer because the rain's going to be a few a few days So it's a bit stressful because we're towing the caravan um, In the rain <laughs> When Vinny is his shift work we stay at a caravan park that's pretty close to where he works I'm not gonna say which one because we stay at it quite frequently so he'll do shift work uh, Luna and I will stay here with the dogs during the day and when his shifts finish and he's got that week off which is every week and a half he gets a week off that's when we venture to a new place and then come back when he's repeating his next two sets of shifts. When he's working my days mainly consist of entertaining Luna and when he's on night shift I do keep her out or we go and do things away from the caravan so that Vinny can rest as much as possible um, during the day and if it's raining then it's 100% sure that we will be playing in the rain and in the puddles. Hello! <laughs> If it's nice and sunny, we'll go outside, we'll go have play dates, we'll go to places that have activities, and I just try and keep her busy with things that she's ready for developmentally. Our overall opinion with being in the van now for an entire month is that it's great. We have no regrets, this is exactly what we want and we're enjoying it. We actually feel like we've been doing this for a lot longer than a month. That's how much we've settled in the caravan, which is such a good feeling because I couldn't imagine having to feel like this was a big mistake and we've sold everything and this is all we own. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be awful. But I don't have to because it turns out we love it and we're excited about our new adventures and bringing you along with us. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.